So this is a bit of a different video, but um, I just want to show you that you can, in fact, camp or live in your travel trailer uh, in the winter with it being winterized. As you can see, it's definitely still winter here, even though it's almost April. But uh, let's go inside and I'll show you exactly, exactly what I'm talking about. So obviously if your camper is winterized, uh, you don't have water in your freshwater tank. So the only real difficult downside to this whole thing for us is the fact that we can't shower in here. Um, so right now, uh, like I mentioned in a previous video, we live very close to my mother and can just conveniently go to her place up the road to grab a shower, you know, once a day. But for the black tank, that's not an issue either because I've taken out the RV toilet and replaced it with a composting toilet. So there's no black tank to deal with in this case at all. So you're able to use the washroom in here all winter, um, all year round. As far as hand washing goes, uh, this is a drink dispenser that I picked up at Canadian Tire for maybe $12. And this is just a container that I got at the dollar store. It has a little water in it because I washed my hands in it. But it just fits nicely in the sink. So basically you can wash your hands there and brush your teeth there. And the water just con collects in that container and then you can take it outside and dump it in the woods or what have you. Works out pretty well. So the first thing you'd want to consider when you're thinking about camping um, in your travel trailer or truck camper or, you know, whatever it is you might have, the first thing you, you'd want to consider about doing that in the winter or living in your rig in the winter is how you're going to keep warm. Um, for here, because we're in a, you know, a permanent location, the best option for us is to have a wood stove and it definitely heats the place well, sometimes a little uh, a little too well. But if you're in a rig where you're traveling around or you're moving around all the time, a wood stove might not be the best option unless it's, you know, a smaller wood stove that's fixed in and secure really well. Uh, but for here, the wood stove is definitely the best option for us to keeping the trailer warm while we overwinter here um, because we are in a colder climate. I also just wanted to mention that, you know, most people, even if they do overwinter in their rigs, they will use their propane furnace and that's fine. Um, I just find that the heat uh, it's not as much of a heat, I guess you would say, running your propane furnace. Sure, it keeps it warm, but it also escapes pretty quickly too. And, and I mean, if that's what you have, that's what you have. It's a great way to keep you warm and get you through the winter. But, um, you know, you're also ending up spending a fair amount of money on propane. And for here, it's just easier to have a wood stove and, and uh, be able to use wood. It's much cheaper. So yeah, temperature wise, I just got this fire going, but uh, it's four degrees Celsius outside. So, you know, not very, not very cold at all. And 22 degrees Celsius in here. And I have a feeling it's definitely going to get warmer in a hurry. So probably the second thing you're going to wonder about is, you know, how you're going to obtain water. So this is water that we just truck in. Um, I just go ahead and take it from uh, the tap at my mother's house and these here are 10 liter jugs I believe and these here are your basic that's a little beat up four liter jugs uh, the four liter jugs we use for cooking and refilling the water dispenser for hand washing And of course, we use it for drinking water. 
And the 10 liter jugs of water we use for filling a large pot um, to boil uh, for doing the dishes. Doing the dishes is a very similar setup to what we have going on in the bathroom. So once our water is boiled and put in with the dish soap in this dish pan here, and once we have everything washed and put in the drying rack to dry, we can just simply take this with the dishwater in it and walk it outside to dump it. That way we make sure nothing is going down the drains and nothing is entering the gray tank. So we also have plugs in the sink, so if any water were to spill out a little bit, um, the plugs are pushed in that they would actually catch the water and we can just take, you know, paper towel or, or a little cloth or something and soak it up and get it out of there. So that's it. That concludes the tour of how to live in your camper or camp in your camper in the winter while it's winterized. But there's actually one more thing that I left out. Um, if you're dead set against camping or living in your rig over the winter because of the fact that you can't shower when your freshwater tank is, you know, empty, uh, there is something that you can do. You can get a Rubbermaid container and set it somewhere in your rig, like in your shower. And you can also heat your water up and pour it into a bucket and have basically a pump with a shower head. Um, and you can shower right in your shower with a container underneath you to collect the gray water. And when you're done, you can dry off and remove the container and take it outside to dump it. Ramsey is all tuckered out from trying to get the mice through the walls last night. <laughs>